Hello everybody. Today we will uh, discuss problem A3 from uh, American uh, Physics Olympiad year 2009 semi-final USA PHO. So before that please uh, subscribe for this channel. In this case uh, you can follow most of uh, problems from uh, US Olympia, Physics Olympiad. Thank you. So problem A3. Two stars each of mass uh, big M and uh, separated by distance D orbit about uh, their center of mass. A planetoid of mass uh, small m, much less than big M, moves along the axis of the system perpendicular to the orbital plane. Let uh, Tp be the period of simple harmonic motion for the planetoid for small displacements from the center of uh, mass along the z-axis and let a ts be the period of motion for the two stars determine the ratio tp over ts solution here we just need to count uh, two equations one is oscillations and other is rotation. Let's do oscillation. So first of all, if we look at this picture, uh, we can see that in any moment uh, this uh, two stars rotate such way that this planetoid it just uh, stay on the z axis and force going exactly in z axis so it's not changing direction because if we split the force from one uh, star and from other star we have only z direction left due to symmetry and uh, let's write equation for this force in z direction so this is the expression for force acting on the, this planetoid M A equal negative two two because two stars uh, G small m big m and the distance uh, squared which is uh, r squared plus z squared and uh, multiplied by sine of this uh, small angle between direction to planetoid and direction to star which is z over square root from r square plus z square. But uh, for our conditions, this uh, oscillation is small. It means that z much less than r, where r is a radius for this uh, two stars rotation. Finally, we have this uh, good approximation. Now we can uh, cancel small m, and we have this expression. Acceleration equal a negative to g big M over r cube multiplied by displacement z. But this is exactly equation for harmonic oscillations. And we know that uh, in this case, this coefficient before z, that's uh, omega square. So, and uh, we can just uh, write expression for period. Tp. That will be this expression for period of oscillation. Now uh, let's count uh, what is the uh, period of rotation with, for these two stars. Let's see. We have gravity force g m square over d square, which is uh, equal to mass multiplied by centripetal acceleration for each star which is a v square over r and uh, we know that the diameter equal to radius so we can express it like this so this is a force of gravity between stars that's a g multiplied by m square divided by distance square and uh, from here we can count uh, what is the speed that will be this is the expression for speed 
And the last step is uh, to find what is period for rotation, uh, which is equal a distance uh, 2 pi r over speed. Let's count it. That's a period of rotation, which equal this expression. And now we can find what is uh, ratio tp over ts. This is uh, one half. So that's the solution.